welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst this morning. Let's welcome him now. The Son. Welcome the Holy Ghost in our Oh yes, we welcome, we welcome the Father, we welcome the Son, we welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst. Oh, we welcome the Father, we welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost for the last time. We welcome, welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst. We welcome the Father, we welcome the Son, we welcome the Holy Ghost in our midst. Father, we want to thank you for what you have done. We commit this message into your holy hands. Father, this is the time to raise up warriors for you, evangelists that will go out and preach the gospel. Father, among us that are here, may these ones, many of them, join the army of the Lord Jesus today. We thank you because you have done it. In Jesus' precious, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Kindly take your seats. We are dealing with the topic today. Join the last day army of Jesus Christ for end time exploits. Join the army, join the last day army of Jesus Christ for end time exploits. The world is in total darkness. And nakedness is all over the world. When you go to the schools, go to the airports, when you go to other places, you see nakedness all over. Many of us are ignorant of the truth. The church is ignorant. The people are ignorant of the truth. Righteousness is in scarcity. To see righteousness now is very difficult. Fake pastors have increased, call themselves prophets and prophetess. The tax masters are cruel to us, the children of the living God. And the pastors of the children are in disarray. Children pastors are in disarray. They were trained by the church, but they were initiated by some people in the church. And now, and behold, they have turned to fight against the church. For you to see righteousness in the federal government, in local government, states, parliament, MDAs is very difficult now. The enemy and his agents have entered the church and are causing havoc against us as brethren. The worship of Baals has filled the house of God. The church is under siege. God said we must raise army for him to recover his church. Some fathers of faith have joined hands with Satan. For because of the modern things of this world, and have turned their back away from God. 
And now they have led the church. Some of them have led the church into error. LBGT is trying to come now to Africa in increase. And God has seen the state of the church. He's saying unto us, let an army be formed to rescue the church from the hands of this wicked people. And the servant of God has cried unto God. Let's turn to the book of Psalm, chapter 85, verse 6. Psalm 85, verse 6. He said, Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? God has answered the cry of this righteous man. Today, you will drain the last day army of Jesus Christ for end time exploits. You will not die like that. You will go out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. This message is divided into three. A, we are looking at Old Testament army, the army that was raised up in the Old Testament. Armies that were raised up in the New Testament after Jesus left. And we are going to look at C, the last day army of Jesus Christ for kingdom exploits. In the Old Testament, in the time of David, we saw warriors that trained the army of God, fighting for the name of God, and they did great exploits. And their names are included in the Bible. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter 23. We take it verse 8. 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 8. Say, These be the names of the mighty men who David had, the Technonites, that sat in the seats, the chief among the captain, the same was Adino, the East Knight. He lifted up his spears against the 800 whom he slew at one time. See here this man. He was a warrior. I didn't know. In a particular battle, used the spear to kill 800 people. Now, if 200 goats are given unto you for you to slaughter them, when you reach at 60, your hand will get weary and tired. See a man here, a general in the army of God that killed 800 people in one single battle. This man was a valiant man. This man was a strong man. In this our dispensation, when you look at this man, Adino, he lifted up evangelism of righteousness in his community. He ministered a message and 800 people gave their life to Jesus. Filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. When others are crying, it's not possible. Adino said he's possible. He went to the marketplace. He went to the teaching hospital. He ministered unto sinners. 800 of them gave their life to Jesus. That is wonderful. You'll be thinking, how does it work? He believed that God has recruited him. Today, when you go back from this place, you shall go to the market square. You shall go to those places you failed, and you shall win them for Jesus in Jesus' name. Yes, he delivered 800 people from the hand of Satan. See his record here. And brought them to Jesus. My beloved, the time has come for us to win a whole congregation for Jesus. Oh, you are too weak this morning for me. Yeah. I said the time has come for you to go to a particular church and the whole church will be converted for Jesus. Yeah. The Lord will put his word in your mouth. 
and it shall come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. Yes, in a single preaching. Not in another place. Just in a single preaching. The power of the Lord will come upon you. And you shall do great things for the Lord. In Jesus' name. Second to him was Eliezer. In the same Second Samuel chapter 23 verse 9. It said, after him was Eliza, the son of Dodo, the Hotite, one of the three mighty men of David, with David. When they defied the Philistines, that we are gathered together to battle, the men of Israel, we are gone away. He rose up and slew the Philistines until his hand was weak and his cleave and his hand cleaved to the sword. And the Lord wrought a great victory that day. And the people returned after him, only to spread, the Lord shall do it for you in Jesus' name. See, Eliza, this man was fighting against the Philistine. And the other warriors ran away, and they left him alone. He fought and fought until the sword entered in his hands and he decided and he continued fighting until he slaughtered all of them and those that left him came up to join him to recover the spoils that were lying down i said you shall go and do exploit for the lord in your cities in your nations in jesus name yes many people have turned away from these truths this elizabeth man you are like him that many people left you in the evangelism field. They ran away. They said it's not possible. Their faith got weak. But you are going to stand in the midst of them and defend righteousness. You will conquer and bring sinners. And the church will gather again and believe in Jesus. In your dispensation, in Jesus' name. My beloved, you are going there. Those who have been going out with you in evangelism, they have gone away. They left you. You are going to stand alone. I say you are called alone. You are going to stand alone and you will preach this gospel. You will minister this gospel. Evangelist, God is going to do it for you. God is not looking for two men. He's only looking for a man. And you are that man. When everybody is running away from the field of evangelism, everybody is running away from mission work, they, you are going to stand and declare the name of the Lord in that local community. In Jesus' name. Yes, this man was the only pastor of holiness that stood in that local government. They know, they, they know about him. In the morning, he will rise up to do money cry. In the afternoon, he will put set upon his car, going up and down, preaching the gospel to the lost souls. He will go to the populated areas and ministers unto people. Yes, he brought righteousness and holiness back to the church of God. My beloved, you are that man, Eliza. You shall bring righteousness back unto the church. You shall bring righteousness back unto the church. See our Father in the Lord. What he said is true. Everything he has been saying is the one up to yesterday has been prophet prophetic. God has used him to bring righteousness back onto the church. And out of him, the Lord will take spirit from him and put it upon us. He will take the spirit from him and put it upon us as in the days of Moses. And you will bring righteousness in that nation. I say you shall bring back the church to righteousness in that nation. In Jesus' name. Hmm. It shall happen. It shall happen. It shall happen. In Jesus' name. And next to him is Shama. These are five star generals. There are three. They have five, they are five star generals in the army of God that brought great victory unto God. My beloved, do something in your life that will bring victory unto God. Pastors, don't die like that. Don't leave this earth without work, doing exploit for God. Do not allow yourself to die. Something said, God, give me my last strength. Take, after you, move the, you leave this place, take your soul, which is the word of God. Preach 
as you go to a market square, preach your last message as if as after that message you are going to die. Preach it. Stand there. Minister, even yourself, you are going to say to yourself, after this message, I'm going to die. Imagine you are going to preach your last message. And the, you, you imagine that you are not going to be seen anymore. And that is the last thing God has given unto you. My brothers, preach. And the Spirit of the Lord will possess you. And multitudes shall come unto God. In touch of your message. In touch of your preaching. In Jesus' name. Verse 11. And after him was Shammah, the son of A. The Haggittites and the Philistines were gathered together in the top into a troop rather where was a piece of a ground full of lightnings and the people fled from the Philistine but he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and slew the Philistines and the Lord wrought a great victory yes this was what he did this man of God Shammah he was a great intercessor and an evangelist. Everybody left him and they went. He's unshakable. They are saying to him, if you preach this holiness and righteousness, you will not succeed in ministry. He said, I will succeed. The church members, they left him. Leaders in the church, they left him. He stood his ground in prayer that righteousness will continue to exist. This man was great. Today, the Lord will make you unshakable in that evangelism field. Yeah. Nothing will move you. Nothing will shake you. My beloved, when you go to evangelize and you are not seeing fruit coming, do you know what you should get in your mind? You are only sowing a seed. Don't be discouraged. Don't be uns don't shake. Be unshakable in that battlefield because your words are entering as a seed. When you plant a seed, it takes three days for it to germinate two of us. You have sowed a seed in the life of somebody. For example, you sow a seed in Nigeria here. The person traveled to Sierra Leone. The person, when he went to Sierra Leone, he became a born-again Christian. Out of your preaching, be encouraged with that. Evangelists, encourage yourself with that word. Because the Lord said, go out and preach my gospel. And out of them, God did great things for them. These were the three star generals. See them when they came together. In the same book of 2 Samuel chapter 23. 2 Samuel chapter 23. See them what happened. Verse 13. And the three of I say, and the three of the 30 chief went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the, the cave of Adullam. And the troop of the Philistine pitched in the valley of Rahim. And David was then in an old. And the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David long and said, Oh, that one will give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gates. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistine and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. David said, I want to drink water. And where is this water? Is in Bethlehem where the enemies are and these three mighty men this three five-star general they said we are going there hey they went and fought against a whole nation and took the water from that well and brought it to David I said out in this program today God will give us five-star general God will give us five-star general Listen, to take over a nation, you don't need plenty of people. You just need three people. Are they here? Are you here? Are you here? Three people. You are going to bring down Zamfara down for Jesus. Sokoto, you are going to win the whole Sokoto for Jesus. On your state, three men, should I say men, even three women, are going to stand and minister. And this Boko Arams will come to Jesus. Hey, you see wonders today. The Spirit of the Lord is going to do it for your life. Three men can take over a nation. Three men, I have seen it. 
When we are, when we are in Sierra Leone, for this revival to stand, for holiness revival to stand, I took two men and I went three. We started moving up and down the country, up and down the country, up and down the country. Under three of us will be in the car like two weeks, moving from one district to the other, one district to the other. Out of 16 districts, we have conquered 15 districts. 15 districts. You don't need, three, you don't need plenty of people. Just three five-star general. I took the head of evangelist, head of evangelism, and I took the head of intercessory. And I, the, by the special grace of God, the overseer, we entered into the car, going into places, going into places. And I know one thing, that when we are entering into this place, there are strongholds. And thank God for my nation, when you are entering to any district, they say, welcome to Kenema district, welcome to Potoko district. So when we are entering, as 15, 30 minutes towards the time, we have entered into prayer. We will enter into prayer, praying along the way, praying along the way. By the time we want to cross over to say, welcome to Kenema district, we will shout that name, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And when we enter, principalities are broken down, and that is how we conquer that nation. That is how we conquer that nation. That is how we conquer that nation. I say, out of this program today, God is going to raise up warriors. God is going to raise up warriors. There are strategies for in the battlefield. Yes, there are strategies. The kingdom of God suffers violence, and only the violence of spirits shall take it by force. Hmm. When you return back, you are going to find just two people. And you yourself go number three. You are a five-star general. You shall conquer a whole nation. Yeah. Do you believe? Yeah. Do you believe? Yeah. You will do it for the Lord in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes, they went to this gate. And they delivered the people from darkness. Three of them, five-star general. The Lord will use three of you. The Lord is going to use three of you. You will conquer the whole nation for Jesus. Yes, the Lord will be with you. You will remove the gate of darkness from that district, from that state. The Lord will use you. Darkness shall vanish. Darkness shall vanish. Do you know you are the light? Yes, you are the light of this world. When you enter in a particular place, darkness shall vanish in that place. Darkness shall vanish in that place. You shall do it for the Lord. Sinners will run unto repentance. When you stand to minister as an evangelist, don't be discouraged. Go and take your Bible back. Your megaphones, go and take it. These tracks, you abandon them. You touch because you are wound. My brother, go and take them. The time has come. I said the era has come. The era has come for end time army for the Lord. And the Lord will use you to do wonders for him in Jesus' name. Yes, this three star general, five star general, they brought great victory unto the Lord. Backsliders, we are restored. And the powers of darkness were shook and brought asunder when they stole and minister in their days. The Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. Yes, it shall happen. It shall happen. It shall happen. It shall happen. Say what the Lord say in Ezekiel chapter 2. How God called this man, Ezekiel, in his days. In Ezekiel chapter 2. Verse 1 to 2. Let's see the call of Ezekiel. I say we are talking about join the last day army of Jesus Christ for end time exploit. You will join us today. And this is the army that the Lord has rose up. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 1 coming down. And he said unto me, son of man, stand upon thy feet and I will speak unto thee. And the spirit entered into me when I speak. When he speak unto me and set me upon my feet, and I had him that speak unto me, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to the rebellious nations that thou that hast rebelled against me. They and their father have transgressed against me. Yes, they have done it, even unto this day. God is sending you unto a rebellious nation. God is sending you unto those people who have turned their back away from God. And God is saying, go unto them. Where are the soldiers that are ready to go? Where are the army that are ready to go? Let me see your hands up. You will go and do exploit for the Lord. You will go and do exploit for the Lord. In Jesus' name. Come down to verse 6. 
and see what the Lord says. Verse 6 to 9. And thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. The bears and tongues be with thee, and thou dost well dwell among the scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, not be dismayed of their looks. Though they may be rebellious house, God said, Don't be afraid of them. Son of man, though you walk upon tongues and you live among scorpions, the, the, by the word of the Lord is saying unto you, Evangelist, though, don't be afraid of them. Hey, we shall go and face them face to face, forehead to forehead. We shall face them face to face, forehead to forehead, face to face, and forehead to forehead. See it in the same Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 8. He said, Behold, I have made thy face stronger against their face, and their forehead stronger against their forehead. We are going to stand. This is a close game battle. Hey, when we are small, when warriors come together to fight, they will come closer to themselves, put their foreheads against their foreheads their shoulders against their shoulders, their face against their face. And God has said unto you that are going, I have made your forehead stronger than your forehead. I have made your face stronger than your face. I have made your shoulder stronger than your shoulder. We are going to face in them. First, blood against battle. I said blood against battle. It means personal evangelism. We will enter into the vehicles. We will enter into the car. We will enter into the universities. We will enter into the marketplace. One by one, one by one, one by one. The time has come to face the enemy. The time has come to face Satan. The time has come to depopulate the kingdom of darkness. I say you are going to do it. I say you are going to do it. We will face in our enemies. We are going to face them this time now. Face to face. Forehead to forehead. Shoulder to shoulder. Hey! 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 Are you ready for battle? I said God is going to do something. God is going to do something. We have an intercontinental bomb here. The international director is releasing it. We are the infantry. I speak like a military man now. We are the infantry. We are the ground fighters. We are entering now into the camps. We are entering into the camps. We are at the armies of the Lord. Are you ready to go? 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 Don't fear them. Don't fear them. Don't fear them. Don't fear them. Though you walk upon tongues, though we dwell among scorpions, we shall face in them. I said we shall pull them down. We shall bring others to Jesus. We shall bring darkness down. We shall pull them down. We shall break them down. And the people shall be recovered for the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Yes, he will do it for us. Yes, he will do it for us. The Lord is going to hasten up our footsteps. The Lord will hasten up our footsteps. And great thing he shall do for us. Say it in Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, it that thou findest, it this crow, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and it caused me to eat that crow. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and feed thy belly with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey of sweetness. My beloved, you shall learn from the international director. We shall eat the word of God. We shall, this word of God, it shall be in us. It is a scroll that God will give unto us. Study the word. This word, let it be in you. Richly in you. We are going because the Lord has feared us. Is, it, is today not the last day? Is today not the last day of this conference? The Lord has fed us through his servant, Pastor Paul Rica. And now we have filled. And we will go and do great work for the Lord. In Jesus' name. There were four evangelists. Darkness was upon the nation. The nation, the nation rather, was besieged. Nobody comes in. Nobody goes out. Senior pastors were sitting down. Yes, they were afraid. Those who thought they have names, 
we are not qualified to go out for battle. Israel was besieged by the Syrians. God used four leopards. Four of them, armless people, no arm, and they are going to face their enemies. Hmm. I said, you are going to face them. Though we are harmless, but we are, will be wise like a serpent and harmless like a dove. The Lord will do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. See the account of them in 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 3. 2 Kings chapter 7. And there was four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, why sit we here until we die? This thing touched me. My beloved, if you go to your father, having spent 30 something years on earth, let's say 50 years, how will you feel to go with an empty hand? How will you return to your maker with an empty hand? How will you feel spending your lifetime on earth and you, you will never do anything great for God? No exploit for God? Don't you know that even Moses never knew that a Bible like this was going to form and people will read about his account? Don't you know in the days of Peter and the other disciples, they never knew that their names were going to be in, the, in this book. We are going to read about their account. Acts of Apostles have not been closed yet. In this our last days, it is open. You will see holiness give a movement, an account in the Bible called Holiness Revival Movement. You will see the international director's account there. And what about you? Your name will also be in that book. Because of this, my beloved, do something for God. Do something for God. Listen. See the warriors of David. We are coming somewhere. They never knew that their names were going to be in the Bible. True or false? But see now, we are reading about them. You too, do something for the Lord. See these men, lepers, hands, let's say no hands. They only use their feet and they enter to do something for God. Don't say, I don't have money. Don't say, I don't have finance. Listen, when you go out to minister, everything is there. In an evangelism field, you have house there, you have food there, you have water there. Everything is there. I said everything is there. I remember we are going. We are coming back to this text. We are going for missionary. This same missionary field. Where we are going, we are going. And the car got broke a breakdown on the way. And I said, let me enter this bush and go and ease myself. As I entered, I never knew there was house inside the bush. I went and eased myself, and the woman gave me banana. He said, where are you from? I said, I came to minister. I am going now to my, to my colleagues. They are there waiting for me. He said, look at a bunch of banana. And we are very hungry. Can I go with you I, that I can give unto your, your colleagues? I said, yes. And we went. And behold, the woman gave her life to Jesus in Moyamba. And the woman is now a member of Holiness Revival Movement. Right in the bush. Right inside the bush. And God caused the car only to stop just for that woman. Just for that woman. In Guala, in Moyamba chiefdom. I am telling you, I say everything is in the mission field. You want food, it's inside there. Your wealth, it's inside there. But why we seated here and die? You are dying in poverty because you are not going out to evangelize. You are dying in your sickness because you are not going out to evangelize. Go inside there. God will do something for you. I said, go inside there. God will do something for you. The fall the person, if we sit here, we are going to die. What benefit will it cause us for us to die at the entrance of this gate? We are going. We are going. We are going. We are going to fight to face the sea and, and, the, and if we die, let us die. If we perish, let us perish. If we live, let us live and see them. And these were four leopard men at the entering and the entering of the gates. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. And we shall die there. And if we sit till here, we die also. Now therefore come. Now, therefore, come, let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. And they rose in the three nights. 
They rose in the three nights to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syrians, behold, there was no man there. Behold, there was no man there. And see the miracle of the Lord. And see the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord has made the host of the Syrians to hear the noise of a child and of a noise of a horses, even the noise of a great horse. Glory be to God. Yes, for lepers. God has thinned up their feet. Hey! Chariot is like alpha jets, like jets we have in our time. The Syrians that besiege Israel, they ran away because God has thinned up their feet. I said today, when you are going to evangelize, hey, the demons that held upon that particular place, the principality that held upon the people, I said they shall run away. I said they shall run away. I said they shall run away because power shall be flowing from your feet. I said power shall be flowing from your feet. I said power shall be flowing from your feet. You are going to walk like a gigantic, gigantic man. Boom, 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 boom. I said power. I said power. I said power. I said power for end time exploit. The Lord is going to do it. The Lord is going to do it. The Lord is going to do it. Blessed are the feet of those that share the gospel of peace. The Lord is going to be, do it for you. The Lord is going to do it for you. Why sit we here and die? Why sit we here and die? Why should I be in this my denomination and die like that? You have been laboring over this denomination for over 10, 20 years. Why should you die like that? Join the ark. Tell somebody by your side. Say, join the ark. Join the ark. Join the ark. There is one of my coordinators. Who has, who has a church before in Connell District, where Mommy came from. He has labored over his church for over 10 to 15 years. I went to minister in that particular place. And people thought I was going to attend, because there are pastors, they have their church. I was going to attend the big church that has big congregation. I said, no, pastor, I'm going to attend your service. He had 10 members for over 15 years. That man struggled. So I attended the church. He was worried. He wants to do everything so that I will not feel discouraged over him. I said, Pastor, be calm. I have come to preach unto your people. After I ministered by the special grace of God, I returned. He had a dream. He said he saw himself with a vehicle going and he's struggling. The vehicle got break down. And behold, a very long vehicle came and said, come, let me carry you. And the, his vehicle was told and placed in the big, big, big vehicle, and he started going. He said, Pastor, I have surrendered my church to Holy Mo. The man that was struggling with 10 membership, today he has over 250 congregants that he stands before and preach in holiness, revival, movement, worldwide. Yes, you are like that man. You have your denominations. See how you are struggling. You and I know how we are struggling to raise up membership. And God has given the grace here. Why can't you come aboard? My sister, you have suffered. My pastor, you have suffered. Come with your car. I see you. You have been sleeping on this way. How can I pass by? I'm a good Samaritan. I cannot leave you lying down here. See you. Blood is gusting out of you. We want to redeem you. A vehicle has come. A vehicle has come to redeem you. And what is the name of that vehicle? What is the name of that vehicle? Come, let us go. It will be easier for you. Come, let us go. It will be easier for you. Ah, we are enjoying because all the doctrinal issues in Bible, according to international director, he said, I have preached all the doctrines. For it took him 12 years to finish all the doctrines. Go to the internet, it is there. When I want to preach this message, I just went to the internet and look at this message, look at this one, and look at this one, and I compiled that my message. See me, I am even enjoying the message more than you that is listening. Because everything has been available. This is a car. Come about. So just of the living God. Don't die in the battle feel like that. Come, a rescue team has come and that is the ark of the Lord. That is the army of the Lord. We are moving. Are you ready to drain? Are you ready to drain? Are you sure? Are you going to drain? Yes, you will be part of it. In Jesus' name. That is what the four leper did. And we are talking about training the, the last day army of Jesus Christ for end time exploits. The Lord will use you to do exploits. In this of your uh, dispensation, the Lord will do it for you. In Jesus' name. God told Joshua in the days of Joshua, see it in Joshua chapter 5. Verse 13 to 15. And it came to pass when Joshua 
was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over and against him with a sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as a captain, the commander in chief, hey, of the host of the Lord, I am here. I am now come. I said, Joshua, he was about to bring down Jericho down. And Jericho was a tough wall to bring down. Very difficult. And he has gathered his hand. He gathered his men. And behold, he saw somebody standing far off, dressed in his armor. And Joshua went and faced him. He said, are you for us or against us? And the man answered, I am the captain, the commander-in-chief. I said, when you go out to evangelize, the commander-in-chief will go for you. The commander-in-chief will go before you. Yes, he is with you. Have confidence in God. The presence of God is always with you. When you go out, you are only a vessel. He's the one doing the work for you. I said, he's going to do it for you. He's standing tall, strong, to win battle for you. To win battle for you. Wherever you go, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What said my Lord unto his servants? Now, what the Lord is saying unto you, join the last day army of Jesus Christ for end time exploits. Join this army. Yes, the Lord will do us great good when we join this army. We got to be the New Testament army. The New Testament army, when Jesus left and went back to his kingdom, great thing happened. Let's go to the, the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 5. Acts of Apostle, chapter 5. And see what happened when Jesus left. Great thing happened to them. Acts of Apostle, chapter 5, verse 12 to 16. We are going to, to see how another five-star general called Peter did exploits for God in his days in the army of God. By the time we finish this one and come to our days, you will find yourself in this army. You will join this army. You have no other alternation rather than to join the army of the living God. The Holy Ghost will do it for you today. And I read verse 12. And by the hands of the apostles, there are many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Listen, this is the unique part of it. They were all in what? One accord in Solomon's porch. That is why the Lord is saying, for revival to take place, for us to conquer, listen, listen my brethren, for us to, dip up, to conquer this world for Jesus is a simple thing, but the greatest impediment we have is for us to come together as one. The greatest challenge we have is for us to come together as one. But when these people came together, when they were one, see what God did among them. See what God did among them. We are saying, come and train this army. Come and train the army of the Lord Jesus and see the great signs and wonders that will be done to us. Yes, the Lord will be verse 13. And of the rest, does no man join themselves unto them. This army, we are so powerful. Nobody dare to join themselves unto them. Because signs and wonder was with them. Power was praying in them. I say mighty power was with them. They were in one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest, does no man join himself to them. But the people magnify them. Hey, the Lord shall magnify this army of the Lord. This end time army, as we be marching, the Lord shall magnify this army. The Lord shall magnify this army. I said the Lord shall magnify this army. All the days of this end time army. In Jesus' name. When they said you are a U.S. Army, see the kind of prestige you have. Can you compare the U.S. Army to the Army of the Lord? Huh? Can you compare it? We are coming somewhere. Let me leave that one. And believers, we are more added to the Lord. When they were, at, when they were one, one army, believers added to the Lord. 
Yes. They were added. And believers were more added to the Lord. Multitude, both of men and women. In so much that they, they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on the bed and coaches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. I am telling you, when they were at one, see Peter, a man like-minded like you and I, the five-star general in the battlefield, and Peter was filled with the Holy Ghost, and people don't dare to come closer to them because this is your special army, this is your special force, the special force of Jesus Christ. They, when Jesus left, the power was, of God was up, upon them, special force. Nobody dared to come around them. It's like magnet of fire was around them. It's like magnet of fire was around them. They only sit down and fire around them, and the people cannot come, come closer to them. They were highly magnified. This army that the Lord is going to raise, this army, army that the Lord has has raised up in this end time shall be magnified. Nobody shall dare come around us. I say fire and retain. I say fire and retain. I say the Lord of us shall perform it. The Lord of us shall do it. The chief, the commander in chief shall be ahead of us. The commander in chief shall be before us. The commander in chief shall be behind us. The commander in chief shall be out on our two sides. And guess what? We are going to attack them. Hey! We are going to use the flanking strategy. Do you know what I call flanking strategy? We are going to pass behind them. We will pass by their side. We will pass by their side and we have done it. Now it is time to face them one by one. One by one. I said one by one. I said one by one. We are going to face them. I add of a, 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 a big beast in this place causing noise about me, about whatever, confusing the body of Christ. I sat in my parlor. I said, God, who will bring this man down? Confusing scriptures. Peace just entered my heart. Have you not known your father? Mighty in words and deeds, Pastor Porika, he will bring down Abel Adam, Damina down. And I saw him quietly sitting down, answering questions, and brought this man down. I said, The Lord will use you to do such thing. The Lord will use you to do such thing. For him, in the name of Jesus, yes, no man dare to touch you. And guess what? Verse 16. And there came also a multitude out of the city around about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks. And them, which we are vexed with unclean spirit. And they, we are healed. Every one of them, we are healed. Peter was only passing by, and the shadow bringing dead body back to life. This army, now I come to where we are coming. This army is going to do great exploits. This army of this end time is going to do great exploits for the Lord. Your shadow will bring back a dead body to life. I say your shadow, you, you will wonder, ah, you only pass by, a dead man goes up. Ah, and the pastor, pastor, how did this happen? Except for the this God of hosts, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost shall be upon you. And the power of the Most High shall do it for you. I said the power of Most High shall dwell upon you. Your shadow will bring back the dead body to life. Your shadow will bring people from darkness to life. In all, even your presence, when you enter a particular place, sinners will start crying for righteousness. I said God will do it for you. I said, God is going to do it for you. I said, God is going to do it for you. Yes! Second person you saw, Paul, Apostle Paul. In Acts of Apostles chapter 13, generals for the living God. Acts of Apostles chapter 13. This man went to minister. And the son of perdition went to stand his way. Saw so what happened? Great warriors. Acts of Apostles chapter 13. I read verse 4 downwards. So, they being sent from, forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia, and from ends they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were, and when they were at Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jew. And they had also John to their minister. And when they had gone through the isles unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bad Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sir Just Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elimas, the sorcerer, hmm, 
For so is his name by interpretation, which to them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, O fool of all subtlety and all mercy, that child of the devil, that enemy of all righteousness, with thou not cease to pervert the right way of the Lord, and now, and behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee. And thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately that fell on him, a mist and darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. I said, This man is a five star general who went to minister. And you know, you have these vagabonds, these sons of partitions, all full of all righteousness, they are full of substantiality. They want to stand to prevent the word of the Lord. Paul fixed his eyes upon him. You want to pervert the deputy, not to get the word of the Lord. He said, For ye shall be blind for a season. Great men of God that did expect for God. I said, My brother, what about you? Don't you want your account to be in the Bible? Won't you do expect for the Lord just once in your life? Won't you do exploit? Lay hand upon yourself. Say, I am going to do one exploit for the Lord. Before ever the coming of the Lord. And in this army of Jesus Christ, I shall do exploits. I am ready to give myself. If I die, let me die. If I live, let me live. From today and sports, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. So help me God. Amen. Hey. Now. This is where our message has reached. The last day army for kingdom exploits. Last day army for the kingdom exploits. They are called the new wine. When Jesus was invited to the marriage supper, the wine finished. And they said unto him, the mother said unto him, the wine has finished. Said, woman, what is my own dear? And the mother said, whatever thing he tells you to do, do it. And he told his disciple that were with him to fetch water and put it upon the pots. Mary clay. And behold, the water became wine. And the man that the, the governor said, why is it now you are bringing this wine? When men are drunk, and at all, you are bringing this sweet wine. They are called the new wine. See it, how they are going to perform signs and wonder, these end time warriors. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 14 to 21, they are called the new wine. These ones, nobody dare to stand them. I am telling you about this army. We are going to march into evangelism. Nobody dare to stand before us. You are going to see power in this end time. Before ever the coming of the Lord, in this movement, you are going to see power for power, fire for fire, blood for blood. Hey! You are going to see something. Power as a fire. When the king of Moab was fighting against the Israelites, and the battle was tense, and the Israelites were doing great victory in that battle, what he did? He brought up, brought up his eldest son and sacrificed him upon the walls. And the battle turned against Israel because by then, no son, the, old, the only begotten son of the living God, had not died for us. So the Moabites conquered Israel at that day, but this time it's not going to happen. If they present a sacrifice of their, head, their elder son, if they present a sacrifice of themselves, we will present the blood of Jesus. As I said, we present the blood of Jesus, the battle will not turn against us. We are going to conquer them. We know their strategy. If they present sacrifice, if 
they present a cows, if they present anything, let the Fulanis, let them gather together and present their songs. Let them gather together and present virgin. We will present the blood of Jesus. We will present the blood of Jesus. We will present the blood of Jesus. We shall conquer them. This time around, the battle will not turn against us. This time around, the battle will not turn against us. I said we are ready to go. I said we are ready to go. If you present your son, I will present the son of God. If you present the blood, I will present the blood of Jesus. I said we shall conquer them. I said we shall conquer them by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. We overcame them by, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. By the blood of the Lamb, we shall overcome them. We shall pull them down. 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 We shall conquer. Darkness is going to suffer. Kingdom of darkness is going to suffer. We are the warriors. We are the warriors. Are you ready for battle? I said we are going to conquer them. We are going to pull them down. This is our time. And this is the era. This is the time. And this is the era. Satan will suffer. Satan will cry. Hey. 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 We are the orchestrated Philistines that said the Boko Haram will not receive Jesus. We are they that said we shall not preach the gospel. Who made them? Who gave them authority? Who told you cannot take over a nation? Who said so? Who said so? Who decreed it and it came to pass when the Lord has not said it? I said we are going to pull them down. Take your seat. We are coming. We are coming for war. Hey, hey. Yes. In Acts of Apostles chapter 2, verse 14, read down to 21. See it. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up, up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judah, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken unto my words. For these are, for these are not drunkards. And yet suppose saying, it is but the third hours of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. It shall come to pass in the last days. Somebody say it. It shall come to pass in the last days. It shall come to pass in the last days. It shall come to pass in the last day. Say the Lord, I will pour out I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. These are the flesh that are here in me today. The Lord is going to raise up now an army. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and daughters will prophesy in this end time army in the name of Jesus. And your young men shall see vision. Yes, we shall see vision. As we are going to the battle, we shall see what is happening before us. Before ever we go there, the Lord will give us a vision. As the Lord was doing unto Paul, as the Lord is doing unto us. Yes, he shall do it unto us. And the old men shall dream dreams. Yes, every category is every category of life, every cadre of age is involved in this battle. A provision is for you. Whether you're a child, whether you're a young man, a woman, a, a provision is for you. Verse 18, and on my servant and on my handmaid, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Verse 19, and I shall show wonders in heaven. That is what is going to happen. I say wonders in heaven. I say wonders in heaven. Did Joshua said, let the sun stand still? Did Joshua say, let the, the sun stand still? And the son took his position, and until Joshua finished the war, I said, You are going to perform wonder, signs of wonder. Powers in the heaven is going to shock. I said, Great noise is going to happen in the heavens. Power for power, fire for fire. The Lord will do it for you as you go. The Lord will do it for you as you go. And sign, it say, verse 18, 19, and I will show wonders in the heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath it, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Yes, the Lord shall do it for you. I say, blood, fire, vapor, and smoke. Blood, fire, vapor, and smoke. Blood, fire, vapor, and smoke. They shall surround you. Your enemies shall not judge you. I say, Believe in what we are saying here. Your enemies dare not to touch you. This end time army. This end time army. This end time army. Oh, we are filled with power. Who dare to touch us? 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 Because the shadow of the Lord is upon us. The shadow of the Lord is within us. And the commander in chief is with us. As a blood, fire, vapor shall be with us as we go. The Lord will do it. In this end time army. The Lord will do it. The Lord will do it. We are the evangelists. We are the missionaries. Why sit there until we die? Why sit there we die? 
What glory, what benefit will we get to die in the hand of our enemies? It's better we die in the hands of the Lord than to die in the hands of cowards. It's better we die in the hands of the Lord than to die. Take up your mantles. I said, oh, evangelists, rise up upon your feet. Not now. I am preaching. Rise up with your heart, not with your feet. I want men that will stood with their heart. Men that will stand upon their heart. If I die, let me die. But revival shall take place. If I die, let me die. Revival shall take place. And the name of Jesus shall be exalted. The name of Jesus shall be exalted. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? I know something is shaking out inside of you. You want to go? Is that not so? Today is the last day. I'm only sent. I have a commander. He said, go and prepare them for battle. We are going to fight. Not here and in the place where we are going. And fire and vapor go before us. Verse 20. It said, The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord's coming. See, it said, The sun shall turn into darkness. The moon shall give up on that day when the army is moving forward. The Lord shall do it for you. I said, The Lord shall do it for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, what will happen in the army of the last day? We are not going to take flights. I know you are thinking. It happened. Philip and the Enoch. Two of us. After he preached the gospel, he disappeared. These are the last day army. We are going to appear and disappear. I said we are going to appear and disappear. It happened in Sierra Leone. Let me tell you about a woman in my 91, Tonkolili district. That is the greatest part in Sierra Leone. One of the greatest parts to fight a battle for the Lord. To conquer that ground is not easy. I said to conquer it is not easy. This is the ground that tears around my eyes in that particular place. I went to this place to minister. A man came to me and I gave him books, messages. He called me daddy. I said, go and start something for us. After he went again to the place, I was passing by. I told my driver, I said, Pack, let me greet this man. I went to the man. He had my voice. I stood on his gate. For 20 minutes, he did not open. 20 minutes, this man did not open the door. And I forced myself. I said, brother, why are you not coming out? He came out with tears in the eyes. He said, the, the organization, the body of Christ said, I should not be part of holiness of our women. He said, I should tell you, you should come and submit yourself to holiness of our women until we accept you in this place. Tears filled my eyes. My men were around me, and I said, who are this body of Christ? He said, they call him Wukwa. I said, tell them in three months from now, I shall come to my 91. Here, we shall buy a land and build up a structure for God in this place. And I will cause a crusade in this place, and I will call the body of Christ. Both they and I will minister. And after that, tears was in my eyes because one thing that brings pain in my heart for me to lose a ground for the Lord. If I have conquered this district for the Lord, I will do. It. I don't want to lose it. If I lose that place, I will be, I, I will be battered, fall, falling down. Tears will fell in my eyes. It was tough for me while I was going over there. My men consulted, consoled me. Say, Pastor, take out. We shall take over this land. We returned back from the battlefield. Yes, I speak like a military man. We turned back from the battlefield. Came home and somebody called me, Pastor. There is a land I wanted to buy in my 91. After one month, 15 days. And I took my men. Let's go. We bought the land. What they did to us, they carried us in the bush. So that people cannot come there. We bought the land in the bush. Inside there, God gave us another place. We listed the house for 19 years. After 19, the house is there. We have used it now for two years. After that, we sent our pastor there. And the pastor went. And I said, now we are going to be now in the middle of the town. Everything happened within three months. We built a quick structure in the middle of my 91, and they called me for crusade, and I went there. When, I, when they saw me, the man came and said, Father, he knelt down before me. He said, I am sorry. I listened to Wukwa, but today I have joined Horimbo. See the man are working for God. I said, who said you cannot do wonders? Who have said the thing and it came to pass when the Lord have not declared it? You are going to do wonders. I said, signs and wonders. The Lord is going to use you to do it. Only if you believe. Only if you believe. Go to my 91 now. You will see holiness, revival, movement, worldwide in my 91. Holiness, revival, movement, worldwide. The body of Christ was not able to stand before us because we have the spirit of God. We are, our heart is a heart of a lion. Who told you can fight us? The lion is the king of the jungle, and our most high is the lion and trouble of Judah. When we enter the place, it's war for war, battle for battle, battle for battle, battle for battle, battle for battle. And what they did to us in my 91, they took us in the field that belongs to the Islamic people. They said for me to go and minister there. I said, Well done. And I know it is battle. Warriors, are you ready? I said, Have the heart of a lion. 
for revival to take place, for you to join this army, you should not stand with your feet. You should stand with your heart. I say you should stand with your heart. You should stand with your heart. You should stand with your heart. We enter the field. And I look at the place. Muslims are surrounding us. The preaching began. The preaching began. The preaching began. And I said, Muhammad is in hellfire. Hey! They were shouting all over. I said, Muhammad is in hellfire. Dying and crying there. And immediately, there was thunder and lightning. And he fell down. It was battle. It was battle. I took my Bible. Hey! I was trained by Pastor Sam in Kenema. I will never forget that time. He said, Sang over, are you ready? I said, yes, sir. He said, war for war, battle for battle. And I found my Bible, and we entered into war. Get war in my 91. Battle for battle. Battle for battle. After 40 minutes, the rain ceased, and great souls joined the movement on that particular day. I am telling you, I am telling you, end time army, end time army, end time army. My brother, encourage yourself with this testimony. It is true. The world is hearing me. The people are hearing me. That's what has happened in my 91. Go to Sierra Leone. You will hear about the testimony. In my 91, a woman in my 91, the former coordinator that died, I did not see her, but according to her story, she went to minister, and the, this society of people challenged her. And what happened? And the, her feet got paralyzed. Any bike man that is passing, nobody can take her. And the woman cried unto God, and she disappeared and appeared in her womb. She disappeared and appeared in her womb. In the same night, one, this is the era, and this is the time, the last day army, we shall appear and disappear. We shall appear and disappear. See it in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 10 and 12. And believe my words. These are not my words, but the words of God. He said, and ye shall not go out in haste. Ye shall not take flight. See it. In Isaiah chapter 52, verse 11, I read verse 10 downwards to 12. The Lord had made bars, his only arm, in the eyes of all the nation, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from ends, touch not unclean things, said the Lord of hosts. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, and bear the vessels of the Lord. And verse 12, one, two, go. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. This flight ticket you are paying, come here. The time has come, it's finished. When we stand for ministers' conference, we pray, we appear and disappear. Are you doubting God? Are you doubting God? Do you believe? Do you believe? I don't know your heart condition, but I believe every word of God, and God is going to do it in our days. My brother, God is going to do it. You will remember holiness revival movement. When it happened, you will run and join. But that time will only create a small space for you. I said, this end time army, we shall appear and disappear. This end time I'm here. We are not going in haste. If light wants go, I said we shall pray together. Warriors shall gather their hands together. It happened with Philip. After he has baptized the Enoch, he disappeared. And the Spirit of the Lord took him out. Why can't God do it to us in our days? Why can't God do it for our days? My brother, only if you believe. Only if you believe, the Lord is going to do it. I said the Lord is going to do it. Evangelists, you that believe, lift up your hands. Tell God in my evangelism life. Let God do this work for me. Let me appear and disappear as in the days of Philip. As in the days of Philip. Don't Lord do it for my life. In Jesus' name. Yes, the Lord will do it for you. Yes, the Lord will do it for you. And how can this happen? You are asking the question. How can this happen? By the time that we are entering into war. In Luke chapter 1 verse 35. This is what the Lord says. This is what is going to happen. How can this happen? You are asking question. This young man is too saying things that I have never heard. How can this happen? In Luke chapter 1, verse 35. Let's take verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be? How shall this be? See, I, I know not in my heart. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High, and the power 
of the highest shall overshadow thee. I said today, the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. And yes, shall do exploit for the Lord. And yes, shall do exploit for the Lord. See what the Bible says. Power is coming upon you for exploits. I said power is coming up upon you for exploits. The word of the Lord says in Acts of Apostles chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. It says, and yes, shall you see power after the Holy Ghost have come unto you. And yes, shall be witness of me in Jerusalem and in Judah and in Samaria unto the uttermost part of the earth. I said, in bands you see power. I said to the 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 power. Yes, she has gotten it. Power. You don't sit down and you see power. I said to the power. The Lord said, I'm going to give you power. See what the Lord says in Luke chapter 10, verse 9. It said, Behold, yes, shall you see power to tread upon serpents and scorpion over all the powers of the enemies. And not my enemies shall harm you. As you are going out, you shall tread upon them. No, nothing. All the powers of the enemy have come down. All the powers of the enemy have broken down. God has broken them before you. God has broken them before you. The power of the Most High is going to perform it. The power of the Most High is going to perform it. Yes, you shall win souls now. Millions of souls for the Lord. In John chapter 1 verse 12, it said for many that receive him, to them he gave the power to become the sons and the daughters of the God. Tell God, give me power. Give me power. Give me power. Power to evangelize. This is the time. This is the moment. In Romans chapter 1 verse 4, it said he was introduced by power. He was introduced by power. He was introduced by power and by the spirit of holiness and by the resurrection from the dead. Yes, he was introduced. The Lord is going to introduce you in that community, in that place, in, in that place, in that place. I say power, 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 power to go. How can this be? It said the most high. The Holy Ghost shall be upon you. The Holy Ghost shall be upon you. And the most high, the most high, the power of the most high shall overshadow you. The power of the most high shall overshadow you. We shall take over the ISIS. We shall take over the Boko Haram. We shall take over the churches. We shall take over synagogues of Satan, synagogues of death. Call their name. We shall pull them down. We are going to depopulate them. Oh, we are going to depopulate them. Win that chapel. Call them by name. Whatever the name is, we will enter. We will enter. We will enter. So dynamics. We shall enter. We shall convert them. We shall convert them. The Pope, the Bishop, the Pope, the Bishop, the Pope, the Bishop. We shall convert them by the power, by the power of the Almighty God. Is that the way you pray? I say, ask God for power. The Most High shall perform it. In Romans chapter 1 verse 16, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus, for it is the power of God unto all salvation. It is the power of God unto salvation. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I shall take up my evangelism tool. I shall take up my Bible. I shall enter into the danger zone. I shall enter into the battle of hell. I shall win them. I shall win them. Jesus, give me power. Jesus, give me power. Jesus, give me power. Power to go. Power to go, power to go, power to go, power to go. Yes, we are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. In First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen, it said, "For the preaching of the, the cross is unto them that pay foolishly, but unto us that the same." It is the power of God. I say power. 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 Kingdom expert power. Let's save. Let's save. Let's save. Let's save. Let's save. Today, let's say power. Let's say power. Kingdom expert. We are the armies of the Lord. Take it. Let's save it. Take it. Let's. Power. I said 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 power. Yes, we are ready for it. 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 The power of the Lord. The power of the Lord. The power of the Lord is going to do it for us. It's going to do it for us. It's going to do it for us. God got me the power. God got me the power. God got me the power. And second Peter chapter 1 verse 3, according to his divine power, according to his divine power, has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. According to his divine power, he has given us everything. He has given us everything. I say you have everything. I say you have everything. Divine power. Divine power. And by Jesus, receive, receive, receive. In Jesus' name. Do you know what is going to happen? In Jesus' name. As you are here now, you are now going to enter the place you want to go to win that place of Jesus. And I say, name we will go with that name Jesus. And as you are shouting that name, power from heaven, power from earth, power from the sea shall be shaken face to face, forward to forward, power for power, fire for fire. Are you ready? Are you ready? You will not stop until I say amen.
Have you prepared your mind? Are you ready? Sons and daughters of the God, warriors of this end time, stand with your hearts, not with your feet, because this battle, we must conquer it. Are you ready? Have you prepared your heart? Have you prepared your heart? Tell your heart, I am ready for this war. I am ready for this war. Shout this name! Keep on shouting. Jesus! Shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it. Enter with a name, enter with a name, enter with a name. Jesus, Jesus, as enter, as enter, as enter, as enter with a name in Zampara, in Sokoto, in your own, in Obo State, as enter, as enter, in Taraba, in Lagos, in Abuja, as enter, as enter, Jesus. Enter with a dip, 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 as enter, as enter, as enter, and miss of the Lord, where is the Lord? Enter! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes, I'm throwing it down. Yes, the chain. Chains are broken. Chains are broken. Chains are broken. Powers of darkness is running away from Zapala, from Ebo State, and from Ebo State. They're running. They're running. They're running. They're running. From Sierra Leone, from Liberia, from Gambia, from Guinea, from America, from Kenya, wherever. Call the place. Call his name. Call his name. Call his name. That name Jesus. That name Jesus. That name Jesus. That name Jesus. I say power. I say power. It's carries power. It's power. It's power. It's power. power. He was introduced by power and by the by power and by the spirit of holiness and by the resurrection of the dead. Call it. Yes, 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 yes. Call at him. Call at him. Jesus. 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 Louder. Louder. Jesus. 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 Well, you're sent out with that him. We are taken over by fire by force, by fire by force, by fire by force, by fire by force. We are taken over, we are taken over, we are taken over. I said, take them over with a name, with a name, with a name, with a name. Is that the way you pray for your place? Is that the way you call Jesus in your place? Is that the way you call Jesus in them? Where are the warriors? Where are your warriors? I said, bring them down with a name, with a name, with a name, with a name. Jesus! Jesus! Blind Bartino say, Jesus! That son of David. Jesus! Call upon him. 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 I say, power. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, and in heaven, on not have been in heart, that Jesus is Lord, to the glory of the Father. I say, call that name, 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 louder. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You are going to sing this song with me. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Power, 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 power. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Power, 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 power. I'm not hearing you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Power, 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 power. Power, 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 power. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
Convert it into prayer and enter into your state. Convert it to prayer, enter into your nation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By fire, by force, we are taking over. By fire, by force, we are taking over. Your hand faster. By fire, by force, we are taking over. Faster, fire. By fire, by force, we are taking over. Fire. By fire, by force, we are taking over. By fire, by force, by power, 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 by taking over. By power, by force, we are taking over. By power, by force, we are taking over. By fire, by force, we are taking over. In Gobo State, in Taraba, in Oyo State, in the Northland, in South South, in Northwest. By fire, by force, we are taking over in Nigeria. Take over, 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 enter, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, now, 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 take it, take it, take it, take them, deliver them, deliver them, capture them, give them to Jesus, take them over, take them over, and them over, and them over to Jesus. In Taraba, we are taking over. Take them over. Take them over. Take them over. The Lord has given them out to you. Take the souls. Hand them over to Jesus. Bear them. Bear them. Their fruits. Their fruits. See them. They're right. Take them over. Take them over. Come with them to him. Yes, yes. They're feeling the ark. Let them feel the ark. Take them over. We are taking over by force. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. mighty name we pray we are at those that want to join the army are you sure are you serious are you ready to walk under the commander Jesus is calling you are you ready are you ready the, this army is the army of the Lord Jesus Christ in holiness give ever movement if you are ready to give your life to fight for Jesus, to do evangelism as you go behind. Come forward. It's, remember, it's a covenant you are making with Jesus. One on one. You are ready to go out and do evangelism. My brother, if you are not serious, go back. I said, if you are not serious, go back. Don't please anybody. Those who are ready for battle. Those who are ready for war. If you know you are ready, this is the time. This is our power from above. Let the people say, Power for that is the power. 
far off from my boat. Oh, I believe that is in the power. Oh, I believe. My father in heaven, your people have come before you to do expert for you in this end time. Lord, see them before you. They're ready to go. Father, give them the power. Father, give them the power. Father, give them the power. Father, give them the power to do expert for you in the name of Jesus. 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 Receive power. You see power, you see power. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Lift up your two hands and tell our Father, these are yours. That have come to join this last day army. Father, give them power. Amen. Give them power. Amen. Give them power. Amen. These ones, let their words. Let it not be their words, but your words. Let it bring millions to Jesus. One person should win one million for Jesus. Another person, 800 for Jesus. Another person, 10,000 for Jesus. In Jesus' name. I thank you because you have answered us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give clapping unto the Lord Jesus as you take your seat.